going to show you how to set up some of the intelligent video analytics on the Wizen X series cameras. In the setup menu, we're going to go down to analytics and then IVA. And we need to enable this section. The first option is virtual line crossing. We can draw up to eight lines. So if I wanted to know when someone crossed that line there, we can then choose which direction. We can either click here to change, or you can choose the options over here. You can click on a line uh, to be able to uh, move it around of where it is. You can add additional vertexes to create complex shapes. You can then remove that if you need. You can create multiple lines and to select which line, just click up here to select. To delete one, right click over it. And you can delete. There are some common settings, including exclude. So if I wanted to not look for any of the analytics in a certain zone, same thing applies. You can add vertexes and points to those lines. You can move them around, right click to delete. We can go to common. We can adjust the global sensitivity and a minimum and maximum. The way that works, anything smaller than the blue box is ignored. Anything bigger than the red box is ignored. And then when we're all set, we can hit apply to save that. And then we can test it out and make sure that it works. And you'll see I crossed that line and that triggered the event. To set up a virtual area, we have options of intrusion detection, so motion inside a zone, entering a zone, exit, exiting a zone, an object appearing or disappearing, or loitering. So if I wanted to look for something being removed from this shelf here, we can draw my zone. I'm going to choose the appear option and we have a minimum duration. I'm just going to make this a few seconds shorter just to make this demo a little bit easier. And then you hit apply when you're all set. And I'm going to go ahead and take that package off of that shelf. And we'll give that a couple seconds. And you'll see that green box and the red box showed up. The green box was it researching. The red box shows it found that object was removed. Same thing if we wait a couple seconds and we put a package back on the shelf, the object up here will trigger. Setting up entering or exiting would be very similar. If I wanted to know when someone walked through that doorway, for example, We would choose, the, choose our zone, choose enter or exit, and then hit apply. I wanted to test out the enter or exit. If, so on, if I enter into that zone, that triggers. And then if I exit from inside that zone to outside, that would trigger it. And then loitering. Here's a duration. Let's go ahead and save that. So loitering allows motion to happen continuous, continuously inside that zone. But it's not object left behind, object removed. That's not stationary. It's going to be there's movement continuously inside of that zone for that amount of time. So, for example, in an ATM vestibule or... Uh, other places where people might be allowed to move in there, but it, you don't want them being in there for too long. And there we go. And intrusion is simply 
movement inside that zone. So you'll see I go across into that or there's movement in there, either one will trigger intrusion.